Hey folks, Ray from LoveYourRV.com here again. Um, I'm coming to you from a, a nice little oasis of an RV park in Nevada. Just relaxing, chilling out with the Beagle. Anyway, I'm putting together a new video. Um, it's going to show our hike to a place called Yant Flat uh, near St. George, an amazing rock formation. Uh, it's also called Candy Cliffs. In the video, I call it Yant's Flat and all kinds of different things. But anyway, it's called Yant Flat. And uh, the road in was kind of kind of gnarly. We had to go was about half an hour, 10 miles on a very narrow road. Saw some footage of the road from the dash cam. And then we had a little one and a half mile hike in. But I think when you see the video footage and some of the, the photos, you'll see it's well worth it. So... Anyway, I just want to thank you for following my channel. It's been really great to have so many subscribers and so many followers. And thanks very much for all the nice comments. I really appreciate that. So on to the video. Okay, after that quite gnarly drive in on that one lane road, we're going to hike a couple kilometers in. Okay, been hiking about a mile now, getting lots of these, uh, I think they're agave plants, maybe a type of yucca, lots of little prickly pears and red sand, kind of like a pine, pine forest up here, way off in the distance. I can see the Sentinel Tower, a big uh, monolith in uh, Zion National Park. It's a little hazy today, but I can just barely make it out. So, it's not much further. I met a German guy in the parking lot. I said 2.1 kilometers or so, we figured. And he was trying to figure it out in miles, and I said, don't worry, we're from Canada. <laughs> kilometers is good. Okay, a little further along, starting to look like a uh, ocean dune in California, Oregon or something. I keep expecting to go over the top and see the Pacific Ocean. I'll see what's over there. Okay, we've come to these two little cairns someone set up here. And uh, the main path goes that way, but the... Uh, the nice guy we met in the parking lot said, go to the left, it's uh, much better. Their place takes you to sort of a cliff. So we'll head out this part. I think we're getting pretty close now. Must have gone about a mile and a half. Really scenic up here. Whew. It's going to be cool. Well, we made it. The forest gave way. Now we're on a rocky cliff. Let me show you this. Whew! That's quite the view. There's what we're after is all this uh, colorful, I think uh, some people call it candy, candy land or something like that. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna head down there, check it out. Okay, everyone, I made it. This place is called uh, Yant, Yant Flats, or Yant's Flats. 
Also some people call it, I think, Candyland. And it's just a, an outcropping of rock here, just uh, a little ways out of St. George. Just an amazing place. Let's zoom in, give you a scale of it. This is my wife, Anne. She's just sitting on a little ledge up there. Where is she? Up a little further. Somewhere in there. Can't even see her. Oh, I think that's her there. Yeah, there she is. So yeah. Tiny little person. You can see all the wild shapes. I like these two big uh, lumpy looking things. Kinds of wild looking creases and knobs. Wow. So it's a sandstone, so it's pretty easy to scramble on, but uh, Anne isn't quite as agile as I, so she's had back surgery and stuff, so she's going to stay up there and see what I think down here. So I'll just give you a view, show you how high. It's quite, quite the drive to get up here. Okay, so if I go this way, I'm going to zoom in, and you'll see where we're camped at Sand Hollow State Park, which is a reservoir. Let's zoom in here. Bunch of farm buildings. It's way off in the distance. You should see a reservoir. And there's a little knob of rocks up out there. And our RV is on that little hill there. Beautiful little spot. So it took us about 45 minutes or an hour to drive here on that road. And we'll look off to the south. Behind these rocks will be the city of St. George. Sun setting in that direction. Let's zoom around here a bit and give you a look at the wild patterns down here. Wow. That's cool. There's some people down there another idea of the scale of the place. Look at that guy. He's just tiny on this immense slope of sandstone. So you know when the sun sets that's going to uh, really shine up. Quite a nice little hike. I'd say about a mile and a half or so through the nice little forest there. Okay maybe I'll scramble down a bit and give you a closer look at these patterns. Okay here we go. Got all this kind of checkerboardy, kind of like checkerboard mesa in uh, Zion. Little pools of water being caught, all kinds of little gullies, little cactuses, and little bits of shrubbery and stuff, little pine trees. Yeah, it's very cool. Yeah, it's just like huge cobblestone. That's really cool. <laughs> Sorry I'm breathing so hard, but... I'm running around all this stuff. Looks like Ann made it down. Yay! Taking a picture of me, taking a picture of her. Okay, now for the long climb out of this mother. I don't know who called it Yant Flats, but they must have had a sense of humor. Holy crap. Okay, hike back up top now. Give you a little bit different perspective on it now that the, the sun's setting a bit and uh, getting a little more color to it. 
Now I'm up here, and Anne's way down there. So peaceful. Yeah, this is well worth the, the nasty drive, especially in a dually truck. It's kind of a narrow uh, one vehicle road with a little bit of pullouts here and there in case you meet an oncoming, oncoming, oncoming car. But, uh, Everybody's doing it pretty slow. There's a few scary parts where you're right on the edge of a cliff too. No guardrail, no shoulder, just straight down. So I guess I'll wait up here for Anne. Looks like she's making the hike back. We're going to have to clear out of here a little bit before sundown so we don't have to walk back at the trail in the dark. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed that look at our little day hike to Yant Flats here in Utah. Until next time, this is Ray from LoveyRV.com. Stay tuned. Cheers. Mm -hmm.